Well, a recently released Associated Press investigation found that over a decade, more than a thousand Americans died after police subdued them with physical force that was not supposed to be deadly. In many cases, drug use or pre-existing conditions were blamed for the deaths instead of the officer's action. Now here in Wisconsin, their report found 11 cases where less lethal force killed a person between 2012 and 2021. The AP also sharing exclusive police video from a night a Waukesha man died after being tased. Well, new tonight at 10, our Ryan Jenkins shows us that video and asks a former local police chief about the risks of less lethal force and what the public can keep in mind as these types of investigations are uncovered. It started as a call for help. Paramedics are responding for a male having difficulty breathing. The caller stated he kicked paramedics the last time and he is getting upset right now. When Waukesha police arrived in September of 2021, they were met with threats. And had learned that Paul Brunner may have been violent towards his live-in girlfriend. Step outside. The quickly escalating situation met with what's commonly known as non-lethal force or less lethal force. Taser, taser, taser. The taser shocks were meant to control the situation. The struggle ensued and the taser deployments kept coming. Paul Brunner was tased a total of three times by Waukesha police on that night in September of 2021. Suddenly, the resistance ended and a dash to provide medical help began. This dash cam video shows police trying to perform life saving measures. Do not touch the patient. Analyzing algorithm. Brunner later died at the hospital. His autopsy report says his cause of death was subdual restraint following those taser deployments. All of the officers at the scene were cleared of any wrongdoing because of his actions, which the DA called combative. You go and it's a medical but then it turns into a domestic violence or something else, and uh, it's unexpected. I invited Chuck Paget to speak with me about this AP investigation and about this case. They have to make split decisions that um, can uh, be harmful to them or somebody else. He is the former chief of the West Dallas Police Department. Paget tells me when it comes to the use of force investigations related to less lethal force, like these use of tasers, the public should keep an open mind. You have to look at the totality of what it is. You don't know if that person was on drugs at the time, if they have a heart condition, any other medical condition. The officers obviously don't know that. I mean, they might know they're impaired in some way just by their behavior. Uh, but they don't really know what they've done and what their medical history is, and they're not doctors either. He says the public shouldn't be afraid to ask questions. Let a, a good investigation occur and wait for, you know, what the results are from that. Sometimes it may come out that the officer was wrong and shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's been done and that's happened. In Paul's case, all of the officers were cleared by an investigation. The Waukesha Police Department declined my request for an interview. Perhaps, if nothing else, the AP's investigation and this story both offer a chance to make sure we understand when and why the tools are used. Their intent is to help that person, even though it looks bad or it doesn't look like that because they're in, in an altercation with this person. Their intent is to help this person. Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News. Of course, we'll have a link to the AP's full investigation into less lethal force. In Ryan's story, just go to TMJ4.com.